Hello, and welcome to the first video of the Gastro Plus 9.7 tutorial phase two. In this video, I will demonstrate you how to create a new PPK physiology. On your screen, you can see the midazolam database as we left it at the end of the phase one. As a quick reminder, the aim of the phase one was to describe the midazolam plasma consumption time course following a single IV administration of 5 mg using a compartmental model. To do so, in this database, we've created three records. The first record that we use to import the structure and predict all of the physical chemical properties of the drug using the ANMED predictor module. Then, in the second record, we've entered the in vitro measured physical properties, such as the log P or the PK. And finally, in the third record, we first entered the observed IV data, and then setting the compartmental PK model to describe those data. In the end, we were successful. The aim of the second phase of this tutorial is this time to predict the overall administration of midazolam using a PPK model. One important thing to keep in mind is before we can describe an oral administration, it's always best to describe a drug distribution and elimination with the same model. So before we go to the oral, as an initial step, we want to describe the same IV data following a bolus administration of 5 milligrams using a PPK model. To do so, I will simply copy this name and create a new record. So I can go to database, copy drug record, and name it Midazolam, human, ID bolus, five milligrams, and this time put in the name of PPK model. I also want to copy the support files with the record because I will want to describe them with this new model. And I can click on OK. I have now this new record that I will use to describe my IV data with my PPK model. To create this new PPK physiology, I will go on the pharmacokinetic tab and click on the new PPK button. Once I've clicked, the new pair physiology window pops up. This window will create for you the specific physiology for specific individuals. Now you can define multiple aspects of that individual. First of all, the species. Either you're dealing with clinical data and you're creating a, a specific human individual, but the PPK can also create specific physiology for rats, dogs, mouse, or other preclinical species. If you want to describe a human individual, you can define its population of origins, American, Japanese, Chinese. You can define its gender, male or female, and you can define its health status, whether your individual is healthy or if is presenting signs of cirrhosis, renal impairment, or if you have a pregnant female. Once you have defined your individual characteristics in terms of species, population, gender, and health status, you then need to define the body weight and the age of this individual. In our case, for the IV data, we have information about our subjects to be human American males, healthy. So we use the default settings here. These subjects are 25 years old. And you can see that as I'm changing my age, the tissue volume and the tissue perfusion flows are changing. And the body weight of those subjects is 70 kilograms. And I can click on another box to save this information. 
Once again, when I change the body weight, the tissue volume and tissue perfusion also change to create the specific physiology for a single individual American male of 25 years old with a body weight of 70 kilograms that results in a BMI of 22.5. Now I can simply click on OK, and the model automatically asked me to save that new physiology in my database directory. I can simply click on Save, and my physiology has just been created. You can see that my pharmacokinetic tab within GastroPlus has now changed. On the bottom left, you see the PVK summary table which where for each tissues the kps are defined as well as the clearance for a specific tissue now we don't have any clearance if you want to modify a specific tissue you can click on edit ppk click on ok and then you can modify a tissue for example you want to change the liver volume, you could do it right there. And then click on Save and Close. So, the take home message of this video or to create a new PPK model, you go on the Pharmacokinetic tab and you click on the new PPK button. Then you need to define the species, the population gender, age, weight, and the health status of your individual. And finally, you can save the PPK model in your database directory. With that, I would like to thank you very much. You can visit our website or email us for more information, and I will see you in the next videos.